today's meeting was remarkable in the sense that it was an unprecedented signal of trust, unity and consensus of the 27. And I feel that this is a very good start to these complex negotiations ahead of us. These guidelines define the overall framework and are the basis for the negotiating directives under Article 50. All delegations agreed with the overall trust of the guidelines and expressed their full support. The main elements of the guidelines were achieving a fair and equitable result for all member states and maintaining unity and trust within the 27. The core principles remain the same, basically, as the original draft, integrity of the single markets, balance of rights and obligations, no sectoral negotiations, a single package and a single channel of communication. The phased approach will provide orderly withdrawal as well as clarity and legal certainty. Key priority at this stage, and which were mentioned by practically all member states, are issues pertaining to citizens' rights, the financial settlement and border matters. Following the adoption of the guidelines this Saturday, the Council will proceed with the adoption of the decision authorizing the opening of the negotiations. It is clear that Brexit will have an impact on many important files and issues. As a presidency, however, we are determined not to let the significant and complex issue to derail us from the Union's strategic agenda and other legislative files.